Okay guys, I want to show you a new feature of the uh, X-Tool scanners. And I'm going to go ahead and just do an auto scan uh, to detect this car. And then we're going to get into this. And what this is, is a uh, pre and post scan feature that X-Tool uh, has now put into their diagnostic app. And you can see right here where it says pre and post scan. And I'm about to show you how that works. But normally what you would do is you'd come over here, you'd hit automatic scan. It's going to go through a scan. I'm going to fast forward through this so that you don't have to sit through it. Okay, so we've done finished the scan. Let's say you went into one of these modules, uh, did some work. Let's say you had a couple codes. This car doesn't have any codes. Uh, but let's say you went through, you fixed whatever was the problem. Uh, you cleared the codes. And now you're backing out of the tool confirm exit to automatic scan you're going to click yes hit pre and post scan it's going to go through a post scan now and again I'm going to fast forward through this so you don't have to sit through it okay so we finished the post scan uh, so now uh, whenever you back out of this then you hit yes you're going to get, be presented with this report details and you can see up at the top where it says uh, pre-scan report well if you click the little down arrow you've also got post-scan report uh, I like to go ahead and change the kilometers to miles now I noticed on my uh, D9S the miles is already selected I don't know why on the D8W it defaults to kilometers you can also put in a plate number and we'll just we'll just type some gibberish in there and then you hit next and you're presented with all the different uh, reports that you've saved now as I've been playing with this the very first one here is the one that actually had some faults and I'm going to select that one so that I can show you a pre and a post uh, report that's got faults and then the faults are cleared so I'm going to hit I've selected the uh, fault codes report I'm going to hit next and it shows you a, a full rundown of the uh, pre-scan report. It's showing that in the BCM we had six faults. In the uh, axis uh, acceleration monitor, we had one. And you come on down and you've got the, the uh, check marks to the left is the pre-scan. The ones on the right are the post-scan. So pretty nice feature now whenever you click next gives you a nice layout if you had your company information uh, entered in your profile all that whoops all that would be uh, presented there uh, of course you've got all your pertinent information you got your nice layout for the uh, pre-scan talking about the faults uh, that it did have and now that they're cleared it's also time stamped so you can look up at the top of each pre-scan and post-scan that there's a timestamp. Uh, then whenever you go down to the bottom, it'll show the pre-scan fault codes. So, you know, why would you want to do this? Well, it, you know, uh, there's a lot of scammers out there. And when they bring a vehicle to you, they might know that there's something wrong with a particular module or a particular thing with their car. But they're just bringing it in, say, for an oil change or whatever. Uh, you can do a pre and post scan that way you can confirm to them that it had issues before they uh, dropped it off to you anyway you can see where you've got your save button uh, now you also got in fact if I hit print or I mean I'm sorry if I hit save it's now saved it I'm going to back out of this and if you go to this report right here go, go to reports you've got all the same uh, items now, if you just want pre and post scan, if you look right here, you've got all. There's all your pre scans, all your post scans. You got diagnostics. Anything, any scans that had codes, you can narrow it down to just having codes, and it's all by date too. You can see these previous cars that I've had uh, that's had trouble codes. Now, if I click all, it'll go by date. Uh, you know quite a ways back so so let's see let's go with a, a post scan there's the Camaro I'll 
click it. Now you can print to PDF, or you can print to your printer, but it's going to open up your PDF file or PDF app, and then you can print uh, this out on a printer. So pretty nice little uh, addition here on the X tools. So right there you can print this, and that's exactly the way it's going to look right there. So pretty nice little feature. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and X out X out of that. You can also create a report. So you know, let's say I'm just going to select this first one here. Go to next. Uh, select that second one for the post scan. Go next, and then there's those two pre and post scans. Go next, and then you've got got your pre and post scan. So pretty nice little feature of the X tool. Uh, you'll see that. Let's go back to automatic scan so that I'll, I'll walk you through where that pre and post scan is just to make sure you know exactly where it's at. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit OK again. And it's going to be the very next menu. You've got pre and post scan. Typically, you used to have just automatic scan and then system selection. Uh, now you got this pre and post scan. And I have confirmed that this is on every every year make and model that I've connected this uh, tool to. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, no pre and post scan function of the X tool, scan tools. This is the D8W, but I also confirmed on my D9S Pro that uh, it has the same exact feature. Anyway, we're done. You guys take care. We'll see you.